we already saw this notion of digits versus bits so when we say digits their digits are in the powers of 10 so we know that when we have ones tens hundreds and so on they are actually 10 power 0 10 power 1 10 power 2 and so on and we also have 1 by 10th 1 100th one and 1000th one and so on that is as good as 10 power minus 1 10 power minus 2 10 power minus 3 and what not. So if you go and look at 36.25 in decimal then we can assign the weights uh, so you start at the decimal point go to the left side and move to the left there you start with so uh, you start with the units here and tens here so that is unit and this is 10 power 0 and that is 10 power 1 and when you and then you move to the right side you take 2 into 1 by 10 plus 5 into 1 by 100 so this is a proper positional weight system so in this positional weight the the decimal decides what weights you get everything to the left of the decimal gets increasing powers of 10 starting from 0 and everything to the right of the decimal gets decreasing powers starting from 10 power minus 1 so that is a positional weight system and this automatically extends to uh, binary also so if uh, in binary what you do is if you see a dot given in a binary number you start from the left side assign from weight 2 power 0 2 power 1 so on to the left and start with 2 power minus 1 2 power minus 2 and so on to the right so if you go and look at it from one side it is actually only increasing from left to right so for example if I, even if I take 36.25 this is 10 power minus 2 this is 10 power minus 1 this is 10 power 0 and this is 10 power 1 right so from the rightmost thing it uh, if you move to the left side it only increases okay. uh, but when, when you look at it from the decimal point of view where, where we have the dot when we go into the right side it is decreasing and when we go into the left side it is increasing okay. so the same thing applies here so if you go and look at this this binary number here so let us see what is the value of this one so you start from here so this is 0 this is 2 into 0 this is 4 into 1 this is 8 into 0 16 into 0 and 32 into 1 so we have 32 plus 4 so this is 36 and on the right side this is 0 into 2 power minus 1 plus 1 into 2 power minus 2 so 2 power minus 2 is 4 so that is 1 into 1 fourth that is the value here 1 into 32 plus 1 into 4 plus 1 into 1 by 4 in fact this is the binary representation for 36.25 right so you have 36.25 here this is the actual equivalent binary representation here only that for 36 you have representation on the left side for 0.25 you have representation on the right side of the decimal the decimal point appears exactly at the same point as in the integer value is to the left of the dot and the decimal value or the fraction is to the right of the dot the same thing happens in binary also the fraction is in the right side and the actual integer to represent the number is on the left side of dot so how do we convert binary to decimal uh, so we all I already talked about this you take the number and then you assign weights to it so you always start from the right side you start giving increasing powers of 2 starting with 2 power 0 so it's, this is 2 power 0 into 1 plus 2 power 3 into 1 plus 2 power 5 into 1 that is the same as 41 then for this example this is 1 into 2 power minus 1 plus 1 into 2 power minus 4 that is the same as 1 1 half plus 1 16th so let us not worry about the decimal equivalent but you uh, I know you can do the fractions here so it is 1 half plus 1 16th so let us see what the uh, equivalent for this one is 10110 dot 1011 is so if you start from here so this is 2 power 0 this is 2 power 1 so we have the 2 term here then this is 2 squared so we have 4 2 power 3 will be missing and then you will have 2 power 4 so the first terms first three terms are the integer representation they are 16 plus 4 plus 2 which is 22 and if you look at the right terms this is 2 power minus 1 should appear here then 2 power minus 2 should not be there then we have 2 power minus 3 and 2 power minus 4 so that is 1 half plus 1 eighth plus 1 sixteenth that is the same as 0 0.6875 so the left side gives us the integer 22 the right side gives us uh, 0 0.6875 overall we have 22.6875 so this is binary to decimal decimal to binary is slightly involved you might have learned this in school but I want to uh, give it here so that it is uh, for the sake of completion so 
what you have to do is for the left of the decimal point you repeatedly divide the integer by integer by 2 until you get 0 and read the remainders from bottom to top. So let us see this uh, if I want to find out what 22 is represented in terms of binary then I will take 22 divide that by 2 so it gives me uh, 11 as the uh, quotient and remainder is 0 you divide 11 by 2 that gives me 5 as the quotient and remainder as 1 then take 5 and divide by 2 you get 2 as the quotient and remainder 1 and finally you get 2 divided by 1 and that gives us remainder 0 and uh, quotient 1 and you take that 1 and divide by 0 you get remainder you get quotient 0 and remainder 1 what you have to do is you have to start with the number and keep dividing until you get 0 so the remainder may be 0 or 1 but uh, you have to stop at the moment you get quotient equals 0 once you stop the rule to read this is read from bottom to up so if you read from bottom to up we are going to take only the remainders we discard this we do not need the quotients we look at only the remainders and we will go bottom to top and if you read this here it is 10110 so that is the input so it is 22 is 10110 in base 2. Let us see what happens to the right of the decimal point for the right of the decimal point we are going to do something slightly different so for the left side we repeatedly divided for the right side we are going to repeatedly multiply until we get a 1 so for the left side you repeatedly divide until you get a 0 as quotient and in the right side you repeatedly multiply by 2 until you get 1 let us see what it is so let us see this example 0 0.8125 I want to find out what is the binary representation for it I take 0 0.8125 and multiply it by 2 this is uh, you represent this in decimal now but you, it gets you 1.625 so you keep the 1 aside take just 0 0.625 and multiply that by 2 so 0 0.625 into 2 is 1.25 so remember it is this one is not 1.625 into 2 we discuss we keep the 1 aside take only this 0 0.625 and multiply that into 2 that is 1.25 then again keep this 1 aside we will come to it later take only the decimal part which is 0 0.25 and multiply by 2 that is 0 0.5 again keep the 0 aside take 0 0.5 and multiply by 2 it gives me 1.0 at this point we have hit 1.0 this is when we stop the moment you hit 1.0 you should not have anything on the right side and you get 1 number 1 that is when we stop at this point what we do is we go and note down all the uh, all the things that we got to the left side of the decimal point so one after the other we were keeping this aside you keep these and read it from top to bottom so you write that down 0.8125 is 0 0.1101 base 2 so you can verify that quickly so this one is going to get a power of uh, half so this is 1 by 2 which is 0.5 plus 1 by 4 right because of this one you get a point uh, 1 by 4 so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75 then 1 by 8 is missing and you have 1 by 16 so 1 by 16 is 0 0.0625 so 0 0.75 plus 0 0.0625 is 0 0.8125 so if you are not sure go and verify it more carefully you put the weights and check it more carefully you will see that there so if you want a number like this let us say I insert, it is not just the decimal it is not just the integer part I have something which is a combination of both if I have both the left and right side take the left part alone do as I said before so take it repeatedly divide by 2 until you get quotient equal to 0 read the remainders from bottom to top and for the right part keep multiplying it by 2 keep noting down what is on the left side but only multiply the fractional part till you hit 1.0 and note it down from top to bottom and so you can notice that when you read from bottom to top it is 10110 you have that here and when you read from top to bottom it is 1101 you have that so you have to be a bit careful about doing this so you uh, this quotient when you get 0 you should ignore it and the fractional part will always start with a 0 you should ignore it because the, so when you look at any fractional part you will always write it as 0 point something right the very first 0 you should always ignore it so 
So, you start from the next one and start noting things down from top to bottom and the concatenation of those two gives me the decimal value or binary equivalent of the decimal value 22.8125. So, again as I said you go and start putting weights from here. So, this is 2 power minus 4, this is 2 power minus 3, 2 power minus 2, 2 power minus 1, 2 power 0, 2 power 1 and so on. You add all of that up it should eventually add to 22.8125. I suggest that you go and try it out yourself. So, this side is up and that side is down so just remember that. So, these are several exercises that I would like.